Hi Leo and happy birthday to you. Um, if you have a birthday, of course, um, if you're a sun sign, you know, sun sign Leo who has a birthday in August, this is actually going to be your August, September and October reading for love. So we're going to do like a little, little deep dive, mini deep dive, um, or mini look, should I say, into each of these months to see what is coming through. And I'm going to share with you what I see. So, of course, we will have a look. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And I just wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. Private paid reading information is down below as I offer personal readings. They're also available on my website and they are same day readings. So they're delivered within 12 to 24 hours of purchase. And the last thing I want to mention is that my intention items are also on my website. Um, there are over 1,000 five-star reviews. Um, you can scroll to the bottom of the website for the review section. So many people have seen results with these intention items which are on my website. Majority of them are handmade, such as handmade bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, intention pouches, which have spices and herbs, um, which can actually help you with different areas of your life to manifest things like money, love, to inflame, soulmate, protection, healing, uh, confidence, strength, etc. So yeah, definitely do check out these items. They're on my website. And of course, uh, there's also divination coins, charms, pendulums, crystals, etc. So yeah, everything's meditated with and saged and linked down below, of course, as well. So yeah, let's let's begin. Okay, so Leo, we're going to look into August first. And let's have a look. August 1st. Sounds like I just said like, oh, we're going to look into the 1st of August, you know, but as in August is going to be the first month we look into. <laughs> okay. I just felt like I had to clarify that because when you say August 1st, it sounds like the date, August 1st. <laughs> okay, so maybe something interesting happens on the 1st of August. Maybe, right? I feel like sometimes when I say things, um, many of you do mention in the comment section below, like that actually does make sense. So let me know. Let me know. Okay, so now that we are beginning to dive into things, we have the Knight of Cups with a Page of Cups. We also have here the Two of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Someone at a distance is thinking about you in August, okay? Um, so distance can mean many things. First of all, distance can mean space. Distance can also mean, um, like, so distance can mean space as in like physical space, but distance can also mean um, like someone who you may not be talking to, for example, that can also indicate distance on a more sort of emotional and mental level too. But there's definitely someone here um, at a distance from you who is talking, uh, sorry, who, who is thinking about you and wanting to talk to you. That's what I see here. It's almost like you are going to be pursued in August by this person. Now, it's your choice as to whether you really care to talk to them or not, because uh, one thing I see here is that you don't really have to talk to them if you really don't want to. Um, because for some of you, this may be a past person. For others of you, this may be a crush. It's, um, it's definitely someone that has their eyes on you. And uh, they really, really do like you. So that's something we are seeing here for sure. It's a, a very powerful energy um, in that regard. So what I would say, and I actually feel it's really, really important and really vital, is that the Queen of Pentacles um, represents that you are in power. Okay, Leo? So you should know that you're going to be the one pursuing, pursued. Oh my god, I can't even speak today. <laughs> I do apologize. You're going to be the one pursued, okay? You don't always have to do the pursuing. You're going to be pursued. So if you always feel like you need to do everything, you really genuinely don't. That will actually slow things down a lot in your life. So, you know, for example, if you feel like, oh my god, I need to go towards this person, otherwise they're never going to come to me. It can actually slow things down a lot more. Just know that if someone is really not coming towards you, I feel like you're being protected, especially at this time, okay? So know that if someone, you know, that you really like doesn't come towards you and someone else comes towards you instead, it's because you're being protected, okay? Always always know that. Like, if the universe really wanted to give it to you, they would, but they always want to do what's for your highest good. And you know what? We sometimes don't know what's for our highest good. It's, it's as simple as that, you know? So it's, it's one of those things where you have to also trust um, timing, trust the process, you just gotta trust. So, 
August, okay? Someone's got a crush on you, they want to come forward, they want to talk to you. Okay, that's what I see there in regards to love. Let's go to September. September's got the sun shining. Hierophant, Taurus energy. Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune, Judgment. Okay, Major Arcana. So something major is going to happen here in September. Now, what I feel here is that, first of all, Venus enters Scorpio in September. This is Scorpio energy right there. Judgment is ruled by Pluto, but Pluto is also ruled by Scorpio, so there we go. Um, so you know what this means is that your sort of sacral chakra, I say sort of, your sacral chakra is boosted. Now, sacral chakra is all to do with sort of the physical aspect of things. You know exactly what I mean, okay? It's the sensual aspect of things. So really, um, I feel here that some of you are going to really feel very, very good in regards to your relationships. You may feel more attractive towards yourself. You may feel more intimate with yourself and also with others. And also people will find you so much more attractive in September. So if you take just that extra little time, say for example, you're going somewhere, you just take that extra little time to get a little bit more dolled up or glammed up or you know, whether you're male or female, you know, um, <laughs> it really just, it shows, trust me, like, people will pick up on it, they'll pick up on your energies, you don't have to, like, even if you step out of the house and you're just, you know, wearing casual clothing, people will really sense your energy and really take a liking to it and find a lot of attraction in you, even in simplicity, so keep that in mind, but yeah, Venus entering Scorpio, like, you will be very attractive to many different people, so even though there's someone here that can very much so come forward, there seems to be someone here that really finds you extremely and exceptionally attractive and can't really seem to hold back. Um, yeah, there's a Taurus vibe for sure, but there's also that Scorpio energy, right? So something in regards to that is um, showing up pretty significantly as we see things. Um, I'd also say as well that when the sun enters Libra in September, it really does go to showcase a very, very strong energy here of partnership. So it's almost as though what's happening here is that you have different options and choices, okay? And what I also feel here as well, that if you are, for example, if you're already with someone, you know, your partnership, your relationship, the more intimate side of things gets so much more strengthened and that's really what I do see is that they'll find you so much more attractive um, and you'll find yourself very attractive, you'll feel good about yourself, you know, body positivity and confidence and this will just really um, excel that sort of intimate side of things and you'll feel so much happier also in that aspect because you'll feel like yes this is, you know, this is good, feels good, feel happy, feel content, you know, you, you just really enjoy the entire process in that sense and I think that that's something we we for sure also do see here as well so I think that that's really great okay so yeah I would say that September is a major 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 vibe because this person that um, is thinking about you in August can really properly also especially if they don't come forward in August they can come forward here in September but you may also have some different options and choices like people around you maybe in your work environment um, maybe people who sort of follow you maybe on social media like they can also show interest and kind of DM you or message you or kind of just say like oh do you want to go here do you want to go there do you want to can I have your number things like that so you may find that you have Choices, okay? Choices and options, um, which I think is interesting. Also, so, you know, someone from the past may come back because guess what? Towards the end of September, you've got Mercury retrograde, okay? It's very, very common that people can come back around from the past. So the Wheel of Fortune shows that things are really swaying in your position. Judgment shows you have power, you have choice as to what you choose to do, and ultimately, you're the one with the upper hand. Now, in October, see, those choices seem to get more. You have many choices, Leo, okay? Don't feel like the only thing that's there for you is just yourself and yourself. The Justice card definitely does show that even if you search for it, if you join, you know, online um, dating sites, for example, you know, sometimes, you know, the, the, the options may not seem so obvious, but you don't have to do everything. Justice also shows that your good karma will come your way. I also see here as well that justice um, also represents that amongst these choices, you'll find, you know, what really best suits you. And uh, it shows things also being much more resolved. You're feeling so much more in power as well. 
Libra season really gives you a sense of balance. See, Eight of Wands, like, there's a lot of communication, messages, you're really being pursued. Page of Pentacles as well, so it seems like there's, there can be someone else also that comes through here, and again, this could also be another person from the past, but what I'm trying to say is that August, September, October, Libra, so many different people are coming towards you because they can sense your energies, they appreciate your energies, and also, they're obsessed with you, so <laughs> it's almost like your energies are speaking volumes. There's something in your birth chart, okay? Just like we say, there's something in the air, something is in the in your birth chart <laughs> that is triggering this to happen. So yeah, I really hope that this reading gave you tons of clarity, information and knowledge. Really hope this helped you with your reading and definitely do take care as well and all the information for private paid readings, free reading giveaway um, and of course the intention items is all down below on my website as well and do take care everyone. Bye!